low down we'll cook these two little sirloin steaks here that I got from Omaha Steaks and we'll cook them in my Ninja Foodie and I'll let these set in the refrigerator and thaw so put them on the plate Now, next thing we'll do, we'll wash these off. Next thing we'll do, I'll we'll pat them dry a little bit and then put them back over here in this other plate that I've cleaned after I had these sitting in it. There you go. Well, those look pretty nice right there now. Next thing we'll do is let's take this uh, Old Bay seasoning here. I like it pretty good, and it's good for most things, you know, like uh, seafood, poultry, salads, and, and meats. So every once in a while, I like to put this on my uh, steak just to get a little change. So. Just a little bit, not much. Like that. And now we'll take a piece of uh, cling wrap, put over top of them on this plate. And we'll set them back in the fridge for a couple of hours. Just let that uh, let those spices just sort of sit there and do their thing. So, a couple of hours, we'll be back and start again. Okay, now we'll take just a little pat of this uh, blend of lake sun salted butter and put on each one of these. in this ninja foodie here. Just like that. I'm going to shut the lid. Turn on the power. And I'm just going to use the little air crisp button here. And I'm going to leave it at 390. I'm going to take it down all the way down to 12 minutes. And I really don't think it's going to take that long because these are not really that big. So now we'll hit the start button. And there it goes, it's taking off. Now I have cooked other steaks in this and it's really been tender and delicious. So We'll see how this one does. Okay, now it's been just a little bit over six minutes. I'm going to take a look at them and see what they look like. Let you look too. Oh, they're coming along nicely. Now, I don't know why I'm cooking anything like this. I always like to flip it over. I'm going to flip these. Oh, those look great. They even looks like it's got little seared marks on the bottom of them from the uh, little foodie pan there. So, I'm going to turn them over and let it go a couple more minutes and then I'm going to get out my handy dandy thermometer and see if I can uh, see about how warm they are. Got barely three minutes left, a little over three minutes left out of the 12. I'm going to put this thermometer on and just see what it looks like. 
I'll tell you, as easy as that thermometer goes in there. Now we'll let them cook the other three minutes. So it says they're in the uh, high teens, the one teens, like 118 or 119 or something like that. So I like to get at least about 130. Again, it's got a minute left. I'm just going to see because they sure are smelling, smelling good. Oh yeah, those are done now. Yep, 135. So now, let's get them out. So that was a total cook time of 11 minutes, almost 11 minutes, just shy of 11 minutes. I'm going to cut into this thing here and see how it is. I want it to be a little red in the middle. Oh, there it is, a little red in the middle. That's about perfect. Hmm. A little salt and pepper. Well, that'll be a good top sirloin steak. Top sirloin steak from Omaha Steaks. Matter of fact, this little stuffed potato came from Omaha Steaks also. Came with the package. So, if you get a chance, go on my channel and give me a thumbs up. I sure appreciate it. And thank you to all you people that join my channel. And I hope you enjoyed my little video because I enjoyed making it for you. And so, until next time, y'all have a real good day now. Goodbye.